Hey there friends, it's Kodiak here, welcome back to Legacy Gaming. Today, we're diving back into Slime Rancher 2 and breaking down the 5 rarest slimes in the game currently, where to get them, how to keep them happy, and ultimately how to maximize your plorts when ranching. One of the new slimes in Slime Rancher 2, the Flutter Slime is definitely one you'll want to track down. I definitely recommend you unlock the jetpack first, as reaching the Flutter Slimes is nearly impossible without it. Once you do that, you'll need to unlock Starlight Strand. This is done by satisfying the Cotton Gordo located here. This can be done by feeding the Cotton Gordo vegetables. Once it's gone, you can unlock Starlight Strand, a new zone on the Rainbow Island. Follow the Rainbow Portal to Starlight Strand and make your way towards this clearing. You'll need your jetpack to go through the opening, giving you access to a new part of the map. Continue moving through until you get to this cliffside. Head left and continue following the path forward, and eventually you'll reach this big clearing. Up on a plateau, you'll actually see the Flutter Gordo, a good sign you're in the right spot. Continue past the slime and you'll reach a small area where Flutter Slimes will start appearing. Suck them up quick because they will merge with whatever slimes are in the area, namely Honey Slimes. Now, the tricky thing with Flutter Slimes is that they only eat nectar, and Moondew Nectar is one of the most rare foods in the game, mainly because you can't grow it at your base like some of the other foods in Slime Rancher 2. Luckily, if you keep moving past the area where you found the Flutter Slimes, you'll find a nice little clearing that has a number of Moondew Nectar. Now, as the name suggests, you can only find this item during the night, but be on the lookout for these white flowers, because they grow all around the world, and right at the center of them is Moondew Nectar. If you want to make your life a bit easier, I do recommend you combine your Flutter Slime with another slime, making a Largo so that you have another way to feed that slime. Let's be honest, anything you can't grow is kind of a pain, and when it comes to efficiency, there's nothing worse than having to farm a particular item just so your slimes can eat. Long story short, while I love the new Flutter Slime, they're a bit high maintenance, which can make owning them a pain. One of my favorite slimes to collect in the game is the Hunter Slime. These little guys only eat meat, and their plorts are actually rather profitable, making them a good addition to any ranch. To find them, you'll need to unlock Starlight Strand, something we just went over when talking about the Flutter Slime. Once you unlock Starlight Strand, follow the Rainbow Portal and make your way towards this clearing. You'll need your jetpack to go through that opening, giving you access to a new part of the map. In the immediate clearing ahead, there is a chance you'll pick up a few Hunter Slimes, not a crazy amount, but enough to get you started. The real money spot, however, is just a bit further. Keep going straight until you reach this cliffside. Jetpack down and keep moving to the far end of the area until you reach this small tidal pool area. Here you'll see a number of angler slimes mixed in with hunter slimes. Be quick as they will merge and you'll miss out on your chance to pick up these awesome little slimes. One of the reasons I like these slimes so much is because they're easy to feed. Their favorite food is roostro, which are one of the first sources of food you can easily maintain at your base. An interesting new slime in Slime Rancher 2 is the Batty Slime. These are rather valuable slimes, as their plorts sell on the high end of the spectrum to start, making them a priority for players looking to make the most out of their ranch. To find Batty Slimes, players must first unlock Ember Valley. To do this, they'll need to satisfy the Pink Gordo found here. This big, lovable blob will eat anything, so bring a nice helping of carrots or berries, and you should be able to pop him, gaining access to a new, interactable, unlocking the Ember Valley. Travel through the portal to this new area and make your way through the zone. You'll want to move through this yellowish part of the Ember Valley until you eventually reach this transition into a more ashy, ominous part of the world. This is your indication that we're close to our baddie slimes. Head into the next area and hug the left wall. We don't want to go too far as we'll end up in the lava pits, that's a challenge for another day, so if you stay left, you'll double back and eventually wind up in a cave filled with slimes. You'll be able to gather up a good many baddie slimes here, but before you leave, head all the way to the top of the cave. Hopefully you brought a jetpack, but if you didn't, I highly recommend you craft one at the Fabricator. At the top of the cave is a small tree, easy to miss, that drops pomegranate fruits. These are baddie slimes' favorite food, so it's worth picking them up while you're here, which you can then grow back at your ranch, so it's a two birds, one stone situation. With some baddie slimes in tow and a nice helping of pomegranates, you're ready to head back to base for some ranching. Another incredibly lucrative slime to start, the Crystal Slime, can be a bit of a tricky one to find at the start. To find Crystal Slimes, players must first unlock Ember Valley, once again, by satisfying the Pink Gordo. Travel through the portal to this new area and make your way through the zone. You'll want to move through this yellowish part again until you eventually reach this transition into a more ashy, ominous part of the world. This is your indication that you're going in the right direction. This time, we're going to keep moving forward until you start seeing lava. That's how you know you're headed in the right direction. Eventually, you'll see this river of lava, which seemingly has no way forward. That is, unless you have a jetpack. 
Use your jetpack to ascend the right side of the rocks, make your way over the archway to a brand new part of the world. This new location features a ton of crystal slimes that you can collect and bring back to base. While in the Ember Valley, keep an eye out for wild vegetable plots. You'll want to check these for Crystal Slime's favorite food, the Odd Onion, which you can grow back at base. You can't grow a full plot of Odd Onions, but you can grow carrots mixed with Odd Onions, which is still good. Don't leave the area without picking up a couple, as you'll want to keep your newly acquired Crystal Slimes happy. One of the most adorable and interesting slimes in Slime Rancher 2 are the Ringtail Slimes. These unique creatures appear as statues during the day, but transform into adorable squirrel-like slimes during the night. While in statue form, you can't backpack them up, but you can force them to transform, bringing the statue into a cave. Now, the thing that makes ringtail slimes so valuable is how rare they actually are. And while you can find them in both Ember Valley and Starlight Strand, their numbers are severely limited. If ringtail slimes were part of our world, they'd be on the nearly extinct list, which is why our job is to find them, save them, and make loads of ports off them. I've marked a few areas on the Ember Valley map where you can find ringtail slimes. To unlock this zone, you'll need to satisfy that pink gordo again, and of course, that pink gordo will eat anything. Once you're in the Ember Valley, look around these marked areas. Sometimes ringtail slimes are hidden just out of sight in caves or tucked away behind corners, so keep your head on a swivel. Contrary to what you'll read around the internet, there are a few ringtail slimes in the Starlight Strand map as well. Once again, you unlock this by satisfying the Cotton Gordo. I've marked a few additional locations where you can find ringtail slimes in this part of the map, which should allow you between the two zones to collect a decent number of these slimes. Take them back to base and revel in the fact that you now have access to one of the most lucrative slimes in the game. Once again, I highly recommend combining these with other slimes to create Largos, which just make everything a whole lot easier, especially when it comes to making plorts. Ringtail slimes don't have a favorite food and will eat pretty much anything, so pick your poison. So there you have it, a quick and easy guide to finding the five rarest slimes in Slime Rancher 2. If you appreciate guides that get straight to the point, do me a solid and hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing. Since day one, our philosophy has been getting you the info you need quickly, so you can get back to the action. I also want to let you know that our 2022 Leave a Legacy charity event is set for Saturday, October 22nd. For a second year in a row, we've partnered with Connecticut Children's to help bring the joy of video games to kids at the hospital. Mark your calendars and be sure to join our charity stream as we raise money and give away thousands of dollars in free games, prizes, and more. My name is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.